My name is Reverend Saminja Mwangi, ministering with Worldwide Gospel Church. Our church is known as Shiloh Worship Center. We are located in Nakuru, Mwariki. And I want to take this opportunity to welcome you at Nisi Television. At Nisi Television, you shall receive powerful messages of uplifting. You shall be uplifted. You shall be encouraged. You shall be inspired. There are anointed servants of God who come to minister at Nisi Television. And I know as you continue to listen and to watch Nisi Television, your hearts shall be lifted. There is powerful music and powerful worship, and Nisi Television is a place to be. Nisi Television, the house of rest. We want to thank God this day for giving us another time and another opportunity that we may be in his presence. And the Bible says in the, his presence there is fullness of joy. So I want to welcome you into this service and even those people who are watching us live feel welcome in the name of Jesus. We want to thank God today because he is the living God. The God that we worship is not an, an image. Glory be to his name. Praise the name of the Lord. So today I am delighted to bring this message that the Lord has given unto me. And it is a message that has really blessed me. And I know that it is also going to be a blessing to you. Praise the name of the Lord. For those who are watching us live, this is Shiloh Worship Center. Hii Shilo Worship Center. And we are located in Mwariki Nakuru. Natuko katika Mwariki Nakuru. Welcome as we receive the word of God in Jesus name. Karibuni tunapolisikiza neno la Bwana katika jina la Yesu. As we continue to listen to the word of God, na tunapoendelea kulisikia neno la Bwana, there is a scripture that I want to share with us. Kuna andiko ambalo unataka kushiriki pamoja nanyi. And I believe that the Lord is going to bless us in Jesus name. Na ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu atatubariki katika jina la we, I am talking about the good news. Praise the name of the Lord. You know when Jesus came into this world. He came to bring good news. Jesus did not come to, to, to condemn the world. But he came that the world may be saved through him. Praise the name of the Lord. So it is important for us to receive this good news. Because as we receive this good news, we are going also to be encouraged. And I want us to, to see the word of God from the book of Isaiah chapter 61. And we shall read from verse 1 to verse 3. Isaiah 61 from yes. verse 1 to verse 3. The Bible says the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the, the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when we are talking about this good news, the good news is about Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, when Jesus came into this world, he came to this world when, uh, when the, the Roman government wa, wa, was ruling. 
uh, alikuja wakati ambapo uh, hii serikali ya Waroma ilikuwa ikitamaraki and when the Jews were oppressed na wakati ambao wayahudi walikuwa wamefinyiriwa praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa and he was coming to this world na alikuja katika huu ulimwengu specifically he was coming for the nation of the Jews alikuja hasa kwa sababu ya injiri ya wayahudi but they never understood him lakini hawakuweza kuiwaelewa and the bible says uh, because they they never understood him na bibili inasema kwamba kwa sababu hawakuweza kumuelewa those who accepted him waliomuelewa he gave them power to become the children of god aliwapa uh, na nguvu ya kufanyika wana wa Mungu so we become children of god tunafanyika wana wa Mungu by accepting jesus kwa kwa kuamini yesu praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa so when we are talking about this good news wakati ambapo tunaendea kuhusu hii habari njema we are talking about the, uh, the, what jesus came to do into this world tunaendea kuhusu kile yesu alikuja kufanya katika huu ulimwengu when jesus was born na Yesu alipozaliwa and when he grew up na wakati alikuwa kikua and later he started his public ministry na wakati alipoanza habari ya kutangaza injiri the first thing that he did when he, he went into the temple kitu cha kwanza alichotenda wakati alienda katika hekaru he asked that he may given the, the, this scroll that we have re, uh, we have read today na uh, kulingana na hii habari ambayo tumesoma siku ya leo the book that was written by prophet Isaiah kitabu ambacho kiliandikwa na nabii Isaiah because he knew that Isaiah was talking about him na kwa sababu alijua kwamba Isaia alikuwa kinena kumhusu praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa because when jesus was being born or kwa, before jesus was being born na kwa sababu kabla ya yesu hajaweza kuzaliwa many prophets had already prophesied concerning him unabii mwingi ulikuwa umetangazwa kuhusiana na yeye praise the name of jesus bwana yesu apewe sifa we know that jesus came from heaven tunajua kwamba yesu alitoka mbinguni although he, he was born by virgin mary hata kama alizaliwa na bikira maria but he was living in heaven the bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 2 uh, ch- ch- from, from verse 9 na alikuwa akiishi biguni kama jinsi kitabu cha Wafilipi kinasema mstari wa 9 if, if you start from verse 5 you see how Jesus came from heaven ukisoma okay, katika mstari wa 5 utaona jinsi aliposhuka kutoka mbinguni praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa because the bible says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus wacha mawazo yaliyo ndani yenu ambayo alikuwa katika Kristo Yesu Uh, and the bible continues to say in the following verse Bidena endelea kusema katika mstari unaofuata Who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God ambaye alikuwa ni mfano wa Yesu akifanyika alifanyika kuwa ni mfano wa Yesu but he made himself of no reputation na kini alifanyika mwenyewe taking the form of a bond servant kwa kufanyika mtu wa, uh, wa mtumishi wa Bwana and coming into the likeness of men na akafanyika katika mfano wa mwanadamu now this is, this was the mind that was in Christ Jesus na huyu ni mwanadamu ambaye alikuwa katika Kristo Yesu he was in a form of god yeye alikuwa ni mfano wa Mungu he was living in heaven alikuwa akiishi mbinguni but he, he, he did not consider it to be equal with god lakini hakufanyika wa kufanana na Mungu praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe so, sifa so jesus was born into this world la yesu alizaliwa katika huu ulimwengu now when jesus was born and when he started his public ministry na wakati alizaliwa na wakati alianza katika uh, kufanya kazi when he entered into the temple na wakati aliingia katika hekaru and he asked that he may given the book that was written by prophet Isaiah na akaagiza kwamba akapatiwa kitabu ambacho kiliandikwa na mtumishi Isaiah and this was is what was written and he read it na hiki ndicho kiliandikwa na akaweza kukisoma and he said that the spirit of the lord is upon me na akasema ya kwamba roho ya bwana iju yangu because the lord has anointed me kwa sababu mungu amenitilia mafuta to preach good tidings to the poor na akaweza kuhubiri habari njema kwa wa maskini he has sent me to heal the broken hearted amenituma nikaweza kuwaponya waliovunjika mioyo to, to proclaim liberty to the captives kutangaza uhuru kwa walio mateka and the opening of the prison to those who are who are bound na kuwafungulia waliofungwa praise the name of jesus bwana yesu apewe sifa these are the words that jesus spoke na haya ni maneno ambayo yesu aliweza kunena and I, I, i when we are talking about the good news na wakati ambapo tunanena kuhusu habari jema actually this is the good news na hii hakika ni habari jema praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa jesus said that the spirit of the lord is upon him na yesu akasema ya kwamba roho ya bwana yuju yangu and the good news is when the spirit of the lord is upon you also 
habari jamani wakati ambapo roho wa Mungu wako juu ya juu hakika in our days we are being baptized with the holy spirit na katika hizi siku tumebatizwa na roho mtakatifu and, our, and the holy spirit dwells in us na roho mtakatifu anaishi kwetu praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apesiwa so the best thing that you can have in life na kila kitu cha maana unaweza kuwa nacho maisha is when the spirit of god is upon you ni wakati roho wa Mungu ambaye ako juu yako because he shall bring good news unto you kwa sababu ataleta habari njema kwetu so jesus is saying na sasa yesu anasema the spirit of the lord god is upon me ya kwamba roho wa Mungu yu juu yangu and i want to declare today in the name of jesus na ninataka kutangaza kwetu katika jina la yesu may the spirit of the lord be upon you na roho wa Mungu akaweze kuwa juu yetu may the spirit of the lord be upon your ministry na roho wa Mungu akaweze kuwa juu ya huduma zetu may the spirit of the lord be upon your calling na roho wa Mungu akaweze kuwa katika mwito wetu because when the spirit of the lord is upon you kwa sababu wakati roho wa Mungu ako juu yetu great things shall happen mambo makubwa yataweza kufanyika when the spirit of the lord is upon you wakati roho wa Mungu ako juu yetu he shall guide you into all truth ataweza kukuelekeza katika ukweli wote praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa so jesus is saying na sasa yesu anasema that the spirit of the lord is upon me ya kwamba roho wa Mungu yu juu yangu and he has anointed me na ameweza kunitilia mafuta glory be to the name of the lord utukufu katika jina la bwana the spirit of the lord anoints people na roho wa Mungu anawapaka mafuta watu and i want to declare today in the name of jesus na ninataka kutangaza kwetu katika jina la yesu everybody that is under my voice ya kaunti yote ambayo ananisikiza that you can receive the, the anointing of the holy spirit kwamba utaweza kupokea upako wa roho mtakatifu because when the spirit of the lord is upon everybody kwa sababu wakati roho wa Mungu kwa kila mtu he is able to anoint yeye ako tayari kutupaka mafuta may you receive the anointing of the lord na ukaweza kupokea upako wa Mungu because it is the anointing that brings difference kwa sababu ni upako ambao unaleta utofauti praise the name of jesus bwana yesu apewe sifa when we are anointed by god wakati ambapo tumepakwa mafuta na Mungu we are able to do that which seems to be impossible tunaweza kufanya mambo yasiyowezekana when we are we are anointed by the spirit of god wakati ambapo tumepakwa mafuta na roho wa Mungu we are able to have breakthroughs in our ministries tunaweza kupata upenyo katika huduma zetu and breakthroughs in our calling na katika upenyo katika mwito wetu may, may you be anointed in jesus name na ukaweza kupakwa katika jina la Yesu jesus is saying na Yesu anasema that the spirit of the lord has anointed me ya kwamba roho wa Mungu ameweza kunitilia mafuta it is the spirit of god that has had anointed him ni roho wa Mungu ambaye alikuwa amempaka mafuta that made him to do the extraordinary na ili akaweza kufanya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida when we are anointed of jesus by, by the spirit of the lord wakati ambapo tumepakwa mafuta na roho wa Mungu we shall not just be common people hatutakuwa watu tu wa kawaida we shall be common people who, who can do extraordinary things tutakuwa ni watu wa kawaida ambao wanafanya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida it is not by our, our own effort na si kwa nguvu zetu it is not by our own power na si kwa uwezo wetu but the spirit of the lord will enable us lakini roho wa Mungu atatuwezesha because the spirit anoints kwa sababu roho wa Mungu anatilia praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa and you know the bible says that the anointing breaks the yokes na tunajua kwamba uh, uh, upako unavunja vunja nira hallelujah If you are anointed na ikiwa umeweza kupaka mafuta yokes can be broken nira zitaweza kuvunjika The Bible says in the book of Isaiah uh, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27 Biblia inasema ya kwamba katika Isaya 10:27 Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27 Isaya 10:27 The Bible says Biblia inasema it shall come to pass in that day that the burden will be taken away from your shoulders and his yokes from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil praise the name of the lord yesu apewe sifa now the bible is saying bila inasema that the burdens that is in your shoulders na mzigo ulio katika pengani mwako praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa and isaiah is speaking to the israelites na isaiah anawanene wa israeli and he is saying na anasema it shall come to pass in that day itakuja kupita katika siku hizo that that burden will be taken away from your from your shoulder mzigo ambao uko nao utaondolewa katika pengani mwako and i want to declare today in the name of jesus na ninataka kutangaza kwetu katika jina la yesu because i know 
people carry burdens Praise the name of the Lord They might be burdens of diseases There might be uh, burdens of sin Praise the name of the Lord There might be burdens of cases But at the anointing of the Holy Spirit The Bible says that it shall come to pass in that day That their burdens will be taken away from their shoulders And you know Jesus is calling us And he is saying Come to me all who labor And I shall give you rest Praise the name of the Lord And I want to declare today in the name of Jesus Those who carry heavy burdens May the burdens come uh, get away from you May they be taken away It is the promise of the word of God It shall come to pass That the burdens shall be taken away from our shoulders Glory be to the name of the Lord I know people carry burdens And you know the Bible says that when Jesus was speaking and he was talking about being anointed praise the name of the Lord he was saying that the, the spirit of the Lord has anointed me and what we are saying is that the anointing of the Lord because of the anointing heavy burdens are being taken away praise the name of the Lord of the Lord. If we go back to, to the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27. You see uh, the Bible is saying it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Praise the name of the Lord. Now there is something that the anointing does. Is that anointing breaks the yokes. You know when we are talking about yokes. We, we are talking about those things that hinder you. Praise the name of the Lord. When you are talking about yoke. Maybe the good example that I can give is that cat that is being pulled by, by a donkey and you know when, when the donkey is inside that, that, uh, that colt or that yoke it cannot it control itself the, 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 the donkey cannot control it, it, itself because the yoke will control him now the Bible is saying that the anointing breaks the yokes praise the name of Jesus and you know there are many yokes that are, that are upon people the yokes of sin many people do not want to sin but because they are under the yoke and this yoke will control them Praise the name of the Lord. Some people are in the yokes of drunkenness. Praise the name of the Lord. Others are under the yoke of prostitution. Others are in the yoke of poverty. Because there are many yokes. But listen to the word of the Lord today. Because of the anointing. The yokes shall be broken. And Jesus is saying the spirit of the Lord God is upon me and he has anointed me praise the name of the Lord and this is the message of the good news and the good news is that you are anointed and because you are anointed your yokes can be broken I declare today in the 
name of Jesus. Na takaza kwetu siku ya leo. That your yokes are being broken. Dira zote zitaweza kuvunjwa. I don't know what which yoke you are under today. Sijui uko katika dila gani siku ya leo. But Jesus who is calling unto us. Lakini Yesu anatuita kwetu. And he is saying come unto me. Na anasema kwamba jioni kwangu. All you who labor. Wadio na mizigo mizito. And I'm going to give you rest. Na nitaweza kuwapa pumziko. I declare under that anointing. Ninatangaza chini ya huo upako. That your yokes are being broken. Ya kwamba dina zitaweza kuvunjwa. In the name of Jesus. Katika dina la Yesu. That you may walk in freedom. Na tutatembea katika uhuru. Because this is the good news. Kwa sababu hii ndio habari njema. Jesus is saying. Na Yesu anasema. The spirit of the Lord God. Ya kwamba roho wa Bwana Yesu. Is upon me. Yako yeye ako juu yangu. And because he has anointed me. Na kwa sababu amenitilia mafuta. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Something else that the, the anointing does. Na jambo lingine ambalo upako unafanya. Is that anointing separates. Si ya kwamba upako unatenganisha. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. You know in in the olden times. Na katika hizo uh, siku za kale. When kings were being set apart. Wakati wafalme walikuwa kitengwa. Somebody la, like like Saul although he he misbehaved later. Mtu kama Saul hata kama alifanya mambo masio mazuri baadaye. And a king like David na mfalme kama Daudi they were being anointed walikuwa wamepakwa mafuta when they were becoming kings wakati walikuwa kikufanyika wafalme they were being anointed waliweza kupakwa mafuta you, you know prophet Samuel anointed king Saul tunajua kwamba uh, uh, nabii Samuel akaweza kupaka mafuta Sauli and he later anointed king David na pia akaweza kupaka mafuta mfalme Daudi but what anointing does lakini kile ambacho uh, 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 upako unafanya is that anointing separates si ya kwamba upako unatenganisha An- anointing will set you apart na uh, upako utaweza kutenganisha by the anointing you become another person na kwa sababu ya upako unafanyika mtu mwingine praise the name of jesus bwana yesu apewe sifa you know the bible says even when saul was anointed bila inasema ya kwamba hata wakati sauli aliweza kupaka mafuta and he became another person na akaweza kufanyika mtu mwingine he became another man akaweza kufanyika mtu mwingine because of the anointing kwa sababu ya upako so anointing separates na sasa upako unatenganisha anointing set apart na inaweza kukufanya uwe kando and i pray for you today na ninaomba siku ya leo may you be anointed in jesus name na ukaweza kupakwa mafuta katika jina la yesu you may be set apart na ukaweza kutenganishwa for the work of the ministry kwa sababu ya kazi ya huduma because one of the work of the anointing kwa sababu moja wapo ya kazi ya uh, 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 upako is that anointing separates ni kwamba upako unatenganisha and jesus is saying na yesu anasema the spirit of the lord is upon me ya kwamba roho wa mungu yu juu yangu and he has anointed me. Na ameweza kunitilia mafuta. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Another thing that anointing does. Jambo lingine ambalo upako unafanya. Is that anointing makes us to be different. Na upako unatufanya tuwe watu wa tofauti. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. When, when you are already anointed. Na wakati tayari umepakwa mafuta. You become different. Unafanyika mtu wa tofauti. And as we are conclude we are coming to the close of this year. Na tunapoelekea katika kufunga mwaka. I, I, it is my prayer. Ni opi la that the anointing that you have already received ya kwamba upako ambao tayari ushapokea it is going to make you to be different itaweza kukufanya uwe wa tofauti when you are doing your businesses wakati unafanya biashara yako you remember that you are different na ukumbuke kwamba wewe ni tofauti you are not of the world wewe si wa ulimwengu although you are in the world hata kama uko katika ulimwengu praise the name of jesus bwana yesu apewe sifa whatever that you are doing na kile chochote ambacho tu unafanya because the anointing of the lord is upon you kwa sababu upako wa mungu uko juu yako you remember that you are different. Unakumbuka ya kwamba wewe ni tofauti. You, you, do, you do things different. Unafanya mambo ya utofauti. Because of the anointing. Kwa sababu ya upako. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Anointing causes us to walk in favor. Na uh, upako unatufanya tutembee katika kibari. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. You know when we are talking about favor. Wakati ambapo tunanena kuhusu kibari. We, we are talking about that unmerited unmerited favor. Tunanena kuhusu ki, uh, 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 what you have not deserved kile ambacho haukuwa nacho you are given what you have not deserved unapewa kile ambacho hauna you go to places where you you do, you do not qualify unaenda mahali ambapo hautahitimu anointing can take you anywhere na upako unaweza kukupeleka mahali popote because of the favor of the lord kwa sababu ya kibali cha mungu anointing can take you where people that the holders of of degrees and doctorate are, are going wa upako unaweza kukupeleka mahali ambapo watu wako na degree wanaweza kuenenda praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa 
anointing of the Lord can make you to sit with the high and mighty in the land. Na upako unaweza kufanya na watu walio wakuu duniani. Because the uh, the work of the anointing na kwa sababu kazi ya upako is that it causes to to move in favor. Inakufanya ukaweza kutembea katika kibari. When Jesus came na wakati Yesu alikuja he came to bring good news alikuja kuleta habari njema and he said that the spirit of the lord has anointed me akasema kwa baraka roho ya Mungu ameweza kunipaka mafuta and he has anointed me na ameweza kunitilia mafuta to preach to the poor nikaweza kuhubiria maskini to preach good tidings nikaweza kuhubiri habari njema praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa the bible says the spirit of the lord god is upon me bila nasema kwa baraka roho ya Mungu yu juu yangu because the lord has anointed me sababu Mungu ameweza kunitilia mafuta to preach good good uh, good tidings to the poor nikaweza kuhubiria habari njema maskini praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa you know when we are talking about the, the poor people wakati ambapo tunanena kuhusu maskini we are not only talking about poverty because of lack of wealth tu hatuneni tu kuhusu umaskini wa, wa mali when jesus was talking about poverty wakati yesu alikuwa kinena umaskini he was talking about that desire alikuwa kinena hili tamanio the desire that you have to seek god tamanio ambalo uko nalo kumtafuta mungu praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa the desire that you have to be filled more wa utamanio ambalo uko nalo kujazwa zaidi that it, the desire that you have to seek god na tamanio ambalo uko nalo kumtafuta mungu praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa because as you continue to have this desire na wakati tunaendelea kuwa na hilo tamanio he is going to increase you to, to enlarge your territories and your ba- uh, and your ba- boundaries ataweza kwenda kufungua mipaka yako praise the name of jesus in the spiritual realm katika ihari ya kiroho so jesus was anointed na sasa yesu ameweza kupaka mafuta so that he may preach the good news na ili akaweza kuhubiri habari njema and what is the good news na hii habari njema ni nini what are the good tidings ni habari njema ni gani good tidings is that jesus is the lord ni kwamba yesu ndiye bwana praise the name of jesus bwana yesu apewe sifa this is the good news na hii ni habari njema that jesus is lord na kwamba yesu ndiye bwana even during this time na hata hii wakati when the, the second wave of covid 19 is increasing wakati ambapo tuko katika uh, kipindi cha corona kimeongezeka i have the good news niko na habari njema the good news is coming from the, the throne of heaven na habari njema inatoka katika kiti cha enzi and this is the good news na hii ni habari njema Jesus is still the Lord. Na kwamba Yesu ndiye Bwana. COVID-19 is not the Lord. Corona sio Mungu. It shall come and go. Itakuja na kuenenda. But we have only one Lord. Lakini tuko na Mungu mmoja. His name is Jesus. Na kwa jina lake ni Yesu. And I want to declare today in the name of Jesus. Na ninataka kutangaza kwetu siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu. When we are hearing about these things. Na hata wakati ambapo tunasikia haya mambo. And about the second wave. Na kwamba katika kibindi cha pili. But I want to declare in the name of Jesus. Lakini nataka kutangaza katika jina la Yesu. We have good news. Tuko na habari njema. And good news is that Jesus is the Lord. Ni kwamba Yesu ndiye Bwana. He is the King of Kings. Yeye ndiye mfalme wa wafalme. He is reigning and ruling in the universe. Yeye anatawala katika ulimwengu. And he has the scepter of righteousness. Na ako na katika hali ya haki. The good news is that Jesus is in control. Na habari njema ni kwamba Yesu ndiye anaongoza. Daburi ali alitumwa na Mungu. Kwenda mpaka njiwa galilaya Kwa mwana mwali ni kila hari ya kuwa Amepozwa na mtu jina Yusufu Daburi eli alitumwa na Mungu Kwenda mpaka njiwa galilaya Kwa mwana mwali ni kila hari ya kuwa Namtu jina Yusufu Atukuzwe Mungu juu binguni Na duniani amani kwa watu wote Atukuzwe Mungu juu binguni Na duniani amani kwa watu wote
Gaburieli kaingia nyumbani kwa Mariamu naye akasema Salamu uliyepewa neema Bwana yu pamoja nawe Hatukuzwe Mungu tu binguni na duniani amani kwa watu wote Malaika kamwambia Mariamu Usiogope umepata neema Malaika kamwambia Mariamu Usiogope umepata neema Utachukua mimba kwa uweza wa roho Utamzaa mwana jina lake Yesu Atukuzwe Mungu tu mbinguni na duniani amani kwa watu wote Kwa ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa Tumepewa mtoto mwanaume Falme utakuwa mabega ni mwake kwa ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa tumepewa mtoto mwanaume na uweza wa kifalme utakuwa mabega ni mwake